Good evening, guys, and happy Friday, Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So, guys, it feels darker in here because I just turned off my desk light. I've been sitting at it for, um, I was like, is there a light out in my overhead light? And there's not. It's because, like I said, I turned that, um, my desk light off and I've been sitting at my desk most of the day today and it's been, we actually didn't go walking today, me and Jack, because he woke up and said that it looked like it was raining outside and or it looked like it could rain outside. He's like, so do you want to still go? And I was like I guess not if it looks like it's gonna rain um which it was really cloudy and it was sort of weird like a lot of earlier in the day there was like really dark clouds um but then like it would just randomly clear up and be like blue skies and then, like I said it'd be all of a sudden like completely dark again um so that happened several times but um yeah, like I was saying, Jack was like all, you know, oh, I think it's gonna rain, so let's not go. So, you know, I kind of took the easy out too and was like, yeah, sure, it's gonna rain. Yeah, we don't have to go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we didn't end up going walking today and I don't know, we'll have to check with tomorrow to see if it's going to rain or not. Um, but like this week is like really, compared to the weather that we've had, is gonna be really cold, not really cold, but it's only like, like mid to like high set 50s um and like the like the low is like still like in the 30s um so my mom was like oh should we plant like this stuff for um you know all of the plants that we started in the house in the vegetable garden I was like you probably don't want to because I don't know if it's actually going to get to freezing but um or like if we're gonna have a frost warning but I was like it's pretty cold I like down there in the 30s so that's when I was like you might not want to <laughs> um but yeah, anyways, guys, um, I ended up actually, I uploaded today. I ended up, um, doing dishes. I didn't get to any laundry. My parents' laundry basket's been full for like days now. Um, and they, nobody's taking care of it. So I'm like, okay, I'll wait to do the dishes, the laundry until it gets taken care of. Cause like I've been taking care of the dishes. Um, but then I also, like I said, I uploaded today, but I didn't end up actually editing anything. Um, so yeah also too guys i have been wearing my blue light glasses since i've been sitting at my desk and i keep getting these marks like right in my <laughs> eye from um like normally i don't wear glasses that have the little things like that sit on your nose um but these ones are and like they leave like those little marks on my nose which i know over time too a lot of people that i've known get those little like indents in their nose too and i was like i don't want that to happen but um i normally i don't wear them all that often and normally only if i'm in front of like the computer screen and only normally if i'm really close to the computer screen too um like i don't know most of the time when i'm sitting in my desk it's like because my the screen on my computer is bigger like if I'm using my Mac normally it's not I just feel really close to it and sometimes it sort of gets like all my eyes sort of get weird um but I know that like you really should use it like regardless but like it also depends too on what I'm doing so if I'm doing something that like requires my full attention um and I'm like really staring at the screen then I feel like I forget to blink also a lot of times too um like my eyes just sort of get dried out and like get sore and so when I actually wear the blue light glasses so I feel like it actually does help um but like like I said there's problems like that whereas if I'm doing something that doesn't require my full attention actually like when I'm editing and stuff like that um because I can sort of just be doing that and like be looking at something else or you know doing something else at the same time when I'm doing something that requires more of my full attention like typing something out or you know something where I'm actually having to like look at it like I said like when I'm editing I could actually be watching tv and like be doing that at the same time um so yeah but it also I think depends sort of on how close you're sitting to the screen um and how much it sort of affects you and also too like I said like for me it depends on how close I'm sitting and like how big my screen is um so like my tv screen in my room while it's smaller than the one in the living room I sit way further away from the one in the living room um which is like hard it's like squinting to try and see it sometimes even though it's much bigger than my tv in my bedroom but I'm so much closer to that one when I sit in my room and watch it so that's why I feel like sometimes I need it actually if I'm watching the or using the TV in my room versus when I'm actually in the living room watching it and then if we're using the projector like I don't need to use it because the blue light is like the 
like the blue light coming through. It's not like the projector, like if I was staring into the projector, that would be when I'd <laughs> need to make sure I was wearing them. But anyways, so I ended up, like I said, actually got to some things done. I don't know why though. I felt like I woke up really late today. I got up at like maybe like 8 30 um or something like that but i just feel like i didn't end up getting like i feel like i woke up late today um which is like kind of crazy because if i would have woken up at 8 30 like a month ago i'd be like oh my gosh guys i got up so early whereas like now i'm like i feel like i got up kind of late today because i got up at 8 30 um but i don't think i actually got out of bed really maybe until like nine o'clock so maybe that's why but i just felt like my day took forever also to get started too like I don't know what it was um I also made my grocery list today to just for um Aldi Valley Produce and Caputo so we can go to those stores tomorrow and then on Saturday go to Jewel and Walgreens um and I started Jewel just a little bit I don't have to worry about those two other stores making the list for that tomorrow um that's already done which like a lot of the times lately I've been waiting until Friday to get that list done so I'm happy that I ended up doing it today um and it wasn't that difficult either really to get you know sort of like done because there wasn't that much stuff going on and I feel like that's sort of going to be the same way at Jewel also because um the like the monopoly's over too so like I still have the coupons and everything like that and they haven't expired I feel like there's not as many deals especially like looking through this week's ad there's not a lot of sale stuff really going on so um yeah I don't know well like I said we'll have to see but it just didn't seem to me like a lot of stuff ended up really popping out or anything like that one of the other things I thought I'd share with you guys my mom actually ended up getting me she got me this. I actually think she ordered it online. Um, the Complete Idiot's Guide to Jazz. I have a book um, that's The Complete Idiot's Guide to... It's either yoga or Pilates. I have a different, like, Pilates book or yoga book, but I think one of them is, like, yoga for dummies or Pilates for dummies or something like that, and then one's The Complete Idiot's Guide. Um, and so... I actually was flipping through this and I really like it because you guys know I really like jazz music. Um, but like I really like old, oh my gosh guys it scared me, talking about how cold it is. The furnace has went on a couple times and like overnight it's probably going to go on because of how cold it is. <laughs> um, like I was telling you guys but that just terrified me right now. I was like what is that noise? It sounds like a, like a lion or something. <laughs> um, Okay, now that I'm not scared anymore. That happened once earlier today too and I was like, what is that noise? Um, and it's a different time too because like it hasn't really been running that much but there was a different time too a couple like days ago or something like that where I was laying in bed um, or I guess it was warm a couple days ago but like the last time that was sort of cold I was laying in bed and like almost fell asleep and then all of a sudden it turned on and I like jumped out of bed. I was like, what is that? <laughs> um, yeah, I was a little freaked out. I wasn't used to it um like just randomly going on but like it's so weird because when you hear it so often over like the you know the winter and stuff like that you're like oh you're not even you don't even like pay it any attention but when you haven't heard it and it's been quiet and everything like that and then all of a sudden it turns on you're like what was that um yeah like I missed just a couple days ago I had the windows open it was nice all that um yeah now I can smell like this stuff in the vents right now because it hasn't gone like it hasn't ran like the furnace and like I said a couple probably a week or two now um so now I just smell sort of like something's in the vents like dog hair <laughs> um anyways as I was saying about the book um it has a lot of stuff not only about because like I said I didn't really read a whole ton of it but um it talks about like the early jazz like in some of you know like today's jazz I guess because it still is around but just not as much as it was but like also too I just I love music and also seeing like the progression of how like oh that changed into that and there was that and you know these type of songs took elements of like other types of genres of music too and stuff like that where a certain bands you know and ends up creating sort of like a new sound and stuff like that that then winds up going on to being like you know the full you know like a full new genre of music that was really started by like maybe a couple bands at the time and stuff um and so that's really cool but like so much of it literally though I mean a lot of our 
early, early music, especially stuff that is, um, you know, that we actually have like record of, um, is like jazz music is so much of that. Like, I mean, we have classical music, which was really like the start, I guess, sort of, of music. Um, but then you really have like jazz, which was more of like pop music sort of um it was like stuff that people listen to dance to you know i mean classical music i guess you sort of did but like you know that was sort of like the first i think change then you had the change into rock and disco and you know blues and you know like all that stuff ends up coming you know filtered down from early music but like i said it was sort of like classical you had beethoven all that kind of stuff but then i think jazz was really the first at least like the way i look at it was like sort of the first like music like pop sort of music that was like you know like i said wasn't just like classical sort of music it sort of paved the way for like all of the other music that sort of came after it um and so to me it's sort of like you know not necessarily the start to music because like i said there was classical before that but just a lot of the writing and um you know like we have so much of that on, on records and things like that and saved that you know i can still go back and listen to music that's literally just about 100 years old now um you know on, on spotify which was not the way it was originally recorded but a lot of really really old music like I said classical music you can't listen to that from you know the original composers because a lot of that stuff you know recording devices didn't exist but you know about a hundred years ago now um you know like I said in the 20s and stuff like that there is a lot of you know music that it started to become popular there were bands that started you know like single musicians and all that kind of stuff and singers and to me it's just really cool to like I said see sort of the progression of of music but for me like my sort of like I look at music as like jazz sort of started and then evolved into like all the way to today's music and into rap you know um which is really what I feel like today's music sort of is a lot of um I mean there's again still different genres of music you still have like the pop and rock and um you know Matthew likes to listen to I don't even know what it is called. Yeah, I am. I don't really listen to anything that's like today's music. That's why I literally like to listen to all old music. Anything that's pretty much from like the 80s back to, like I said, probably about the 20s. <laughs> um, I will listen to over that whole span of time. Like, other than like when I was in high school, just because I listened to the music when I was in, you know, middle school, high school and that kind of stuff. I was like, I don't know. It just, I don't feel connected like after hearing the song a couple times you're just sort of like okay like it just gets overplayed you hear it just too much and you're just like okay I'm sort of just done with this song like you know and I just get sort of tired of it after a while like I said I could keep listening to like jazz music especially for me over and over and over again and never get tired of it um like sometimes there's still some like music like other genres of stuff like I said that I'll listen to that I'm just like okay I'm sort of getting tired of listening to that song or I've heard that a lot um you know whatever it might be but um like I said it's really cool because it does have a lot of like uh short like profiles of different jazz um music music musicians and jazz play uh, singers and um bands and like all that kind of stuff along with sort of like the history and the evolution of it all that kind of stuff um so i thought this was really interesting but i have like different decades playlists on my spotify but then i have a whole playlist that's just jazz that i'll listen to um whereas i used to have a little organized a little bit differently but just recently I ended up sort of um, changing that up a little bit but I thought it was really cool because like I said it has a lot of information in here about also to the instruments which is really cool and that kind of different stuff like I said I didn't read into it a whole ton I looked at a couple of like you know I was like I know that that person and I know that band and stuff like that I connected with that <laughs> for sure so anyways guys I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe